Well, the unearthing of what some are calling another slush fund within San Francisco city government has some city supervisors calling for a new investigation tonight. This money comes from a nonprofit called the Parks Alliance, the same one that's embroiled in the ongoing public corruption scandal involving the Public Works Department. Investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken has the exclusive story. Until COVID, the San Francisco Parks Alliance's annual Crab Fest had been a major affair in the city. The nonprofit shindig drew top city officials, community leaders, and contractors to munch on the city's famous delicacy, raising more than $100,000 annually for recreation and park scholarships, which are grants that cover fees and other costs of park programs for kids and seniors who can't afford them on their own. But recently disclosed documents from the nonprofit show not all the money the Alliance raised and sent to the Parks Department went for those scholarships. Some ended up in this so-called general account, used to pay for things like staff retreats for top Parks officials, one at Cavallo Point, the lodge at the Golden Gate, and another at a hotel in Seattle. Well, it raised a lot of questions, so that the, where people thought that what they're donating to is a scholarship fund. Supervisor Connie Chan pushed the city to subpoena the records of the nonprofit's accounts related to the Parks Department. She says she is concerned about the transfers out of the Crab Scholarship Fund, like this one for $64,000, into that so-called general fund controlled by Parks officials. That then allowed Parks Alliance to create a slush fund account uh, to allow the executive staff of Recreation and Park Department to use and tap into those funds for whatever it is their, their leisures. In a statement to us, city rec and parks officials acknowledge about 20% of the Crab Fest scholarship fund they maintain does pay for other things than helping low-income youth and seniors, like girls' baseball leagues, World Cup viewings, training retreats, and worker appreciation events. We are happy to invest in their learning and morale, which helps them deliver great services every day, the Parks Department says. One Parks official told the Parks Board last year those investments have paid off. They've certainly played a part in boosting Rec Parks employee job satisfaction to 86 percent. But not everyone is satisfied. I've had questions about the Parks Alliance and their practices. This is just confirming all of the suspicions that I've had for a number of years. Supervisor Aaron Peskin says those suspicions began with another Parks Alliance fund, fed with $1 million in donations from contractors, some doing business with the city's Public Works Department. Former DPW director Mohammed Nuru admitted in federal court to using that money to pay for perks for workers and for his own benefit. He is awaiting sentencing. Peskin worries the Crab Fund is another end run around city ethics rules, with the money going to Rec and Parks this time instead of public works. What is particularly troubling is the fact that there are a number of companies that do direct business with the Recreation and Parks Department that are making donations to the Parks Alliance that are flowing directly back to the Recreation and Parks Department and their general manager. The Parks Department statement says it has nothing to hide, declaring its integrity and transparency is unimpeachable. The Alliance says it's turned over all of the requested documents, but Chan and Peskin are skeptical. They're awaiting a complete review by the city controller's office of the data they have so far to determine next steps. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News. And we, of course, will be following all of the next steps as well. If you have a story for Jackson or anyone else in our investigative unit, give us a call, 888-996-TIPS, or you can simply visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigations.